Okay, so the music production world is going crazy for AI at the moment, while well, just the world in general is going crazy for AI at the moment. Splice itself has just dropped a piece of AI on its website. So in today's video, we're going to be checking that out. And whilst we do this, I just want you guys to bear in mind, is this a good thing for music production or is it a bad thing for music production? And I want you to let me know in the comment section below after the video. So here we are on their website, AI powered discovery plus the world's best sample library. Pick a style and Splice AI will show you millions of musical combinations that no one has ever heard before. That's going to be debatable. Featuring sounds made by the world's top producers. So here we are, we're just going to go through this whole system and see what comes out the other side. So it's asking us to pick a style. Let's go for hip hop. Okay, so straight away it's bust out this loop. This loop is from four different packs, I suppose. Um, so it's not all from the same um, company or producer. It is from four different packs. And already I'm not really sure how I feel about this. It's taken out the old find and discovery part of finding nice loops that go together if you do use loops. And on the other side of that conversation, this is just a loop that other people might not have combined it together yet. So It'll make it a little bit more unique for you but it won't be totally unique because you don't know how many times splice is going to suggest this to other people let's just refresh and you can just click refresh new stack every time you want a different loop i suppose to be honest i really really like this one um, if you don't like some of the sounds in it, um, you can always refresh the individual sounds here. But if you are happy with it, like I'm happy with this one, you can click save. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention as well, you can add other instruments as well down here. Let's try and find some vocals for this actually. See how that sounds now. Sounding really good to be fair. Let's go save this. So now we're in the stacks section. I'm guessing that's what's that's called a stack, what we just created. And here it is here, our loop. I'm not sure if these will be made public or not. Um, so other people can download our stacks as well. That would be something um, interesting to find out because if you are gonna try and make unique sounding stacks, um, it would be good if no one else has access to them as well. And then you can go to export and export the stems or what I like about it is that you can export to Ableton Live session is that's what I use. It's going to take five credits but for like 5,404 credits because I don't really use Splice anymore but I refuse to let all those credits go to waste so it's a bit of a sticky situation really where I can't close my account but I don't really use it either so. Cool. So it's come as an Ableton file. Okay, so when you open it up. What's pretty good about it as well is that it syncs the tempo already. So it's at 90 BPM and the loop, as you heard it, the individual sounds of the loop all have different levels as well so it's not all the same leveling it's exactly how you would have heard it in splice as you can see down here something else i forgot to mention as well is that all of this loop is not necessarily all in the same key it's not like they found loads of sounds that are all in the same key and put them together they've actually transposed some of them as you can see that some of them are a minor some of them are c sharp minor and um, which is crazy and it reflects that here c minor um, is three semitones have changed it and when you export it, it exports it with those changes as well, which is pretty cool to be fair. Let's try a different loop. Oh, that says hip hop as well, not even hip hop. Yeah, straight out of the gate, I'd want more genres here. Okay, so it's populated me something that could be considered as trap maybe. Okay, 
if you do want to change the tempo of the loop, you can literally change it here in real time. Let's try and start a stack from scratch then, and we'll try and mold it however we want. Let's go 140. We want some strings. Okay, that could sound good. Let's go with some bass. Drums. Yeah, let's skip drums for now because that's not sounding how I want. Vocals. To be honest, I quite like that. Now let's get to the nitty gritty of this. Is this good or bad for music production? I was going to say it's good if you're a newbie and you want something quickly done, but then you kind of skip that whole process of learning and experience. Because if you have this at your fingertips, why would you even bother learning music theory or learning what strings would go with a bass inside of your door and creating melodies around it? Why would you bother doing all of that if you can just simply go to Splice, generate this loop, it even comes with drums so essentially you can just take this whole thing here throw it into your door and arrange it and call it your production i guess and to me that would be very bad for music production now don't get me wrong i said it in my previous video on my other channel i don't mind people using loops um, hayes used a ton of loops in that video but as long as you have some of your own input in there as well it would be awesome if splice had a feature where you could upload your own loop and um, but you made yourself and then maybe you can kind of arrange these other sounds around your own kind of uh, melodies as well that'd be a awesome feature just so you can add your own creativity into the whole thing but but it's kind of becoming a reality now where literally a couple of clicks on a button and your production is done also what's stopping singers and rappers people that don't normally make their own productions from taking this on board why would they split their royalties with music producers when they can pretty much made their own productions from nothing. This could be awesome or it could be absolutely dreadful for music producers, but that's where you guys come in. I want you to let me know what you think of this in the comments sections below. Please let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to know what you guys think of this. If you are looking for more plugin or music production videos, I'll leave one here and one here. And if you do want to learn how to make music, I'll leave my second channel here as well. Be safe, be productive, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.